Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome to a new week of Wake and Stretch. It is Monday here in the Asia part of the world, the Asian part of the world, here, well, something like that. Um, and I'm here with all three dogs, even though you can't see them at the moment, for our morning Wake and Stretch. Uh, today is going to be a nice quick practice with a tennis ball. Um, my feet have been a little bit achy recently, so I'm gonna roll out the feet a little bit, and then we're gonna get to a nice quick wham, bam, thank you ma'am kind of practice. So go ahead and grab what you need if you have a tennis ball or something similar to a tennis ball. And uh, we'll just jump up on the mat there, and literally I'm gonna jump on the mat today. <laughs> All right, here we go. <coughs> I'm just gonna wait a second for the dog to lay down. There's little socks over there. I'm gonna take this tennis ball, I'm gonna place it on the ground and start rolling out the feet. Get the achy spots, of course, but also get the non achy parts. They're all related, of course. Opening up the fascia at the bottom of the feet. I've said this before, but it bears a repeating. The hands and the feet contain the most fascia, the most connected tissue uh, in the body. So when you loosen those up, theoretically, it helps the fluid go all the way through the rest of the fascia throughout the body. So it's, it's worth taking a minute or two each morning to either massage the feet, roll the feet out. Same thing with the hands, giving them a nice stretch, which actually maybe I'll do at the same time. <laughs> Stretching out the palm of the hand, fingertips gently pull back. And then gently doing the same thing with the thumb. You can take it from above or below either way. There, gently release the hands, switch the ball to the second foot, start rolling it up. You hear the peacocks? They're saying good morning. Oh, right, the hand. Let's start stretching out the hand, the wrist, forearm. Maybe you feel it in the bicep. Gently take the thumb, pull it away from the palm of the hand. Just for a few more seconds. Release the foot. Release the hand when you need to. Mr. Zeus. Nope. Okay. <laughs> and that's that. Tennis ball. <laughs> if you want to go a few more seconds on your own, feel free. I'm trying to teach him that this space is mine and not his, which is not working out very well. Okay. <clears throat> Better than it was. Zeus. All right, so coming up towards the top of the mat, just gonna take a nice gentle sun salutation to make our way to child pose. If you just wanna pop into child pose, go for it. So inhaling, sweeping the arms up, getting a nice stretch through the body. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, folding hands down, step the foot back to plank, move through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. <coughs> Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, find your way to child's pose if you are not there already. <sighs> Let yourself settle into that child's pose. Whatever variation feels nice for you this morning. And stay for about three or four more breaths. From here, find your way into downward facing dog. Staying for about three full breaths. On 
your next inhale, the right leg twists up and back, three-legged dog, bend the knee, make it a twist. Twist your three-legged dog. Feel free to work the foot and the ankle while it's up there in the air. And inhale, straighten the leg, score out the hips. Exhale, thigh comes to the chest, roll into a side plank, falling star. So you're on the inner edge of the left foot, right foot steps in front of the navel, other arm reaches up. You want more side bend here, sweep the top arm over your ear, palm comes down. Bring it back, square it off, three-legged go. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhaling, lifting the heart. Hands can come to the thigh. Nice steady breath. All right, so from here, tuck the back toe. Scoot the back knee forward about one or two scoots. Press through the legs, inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Take another breath with the arms, inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. On this exhale, shift your weight forward. Balance on that right leg, left thigh comes to the chest. Outwardly rotate, find cross-legged chair. Arms can stay extended or come to the heart, whatever works for you. And inhale, bring it up into tree pose. Arms can extend or not. I think this morning, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh boy, I got morning voice. I'm gonna extend up, upward and then take a nice side bend here over the bent leg, challenging the balance, getting even more opening through the waist. Ribs. Gently coming back up to vertical. Exhale where you need, bring the hands to the heart. Peel that left foot off of the inner leg. Step it back, warrior two. Staying in a nice static warrior two for a few breaths, building some heat. Gently bring the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. We'll take humble warrior variations to the inner, inner thigh. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold it forward. Shoulder comes to the inner thigh. Head lowers if it's comfortable for you and arms come over for a stretch. Really press down to both feet, especially that back foot. You're nice and stable in the pose. Inhale, lifting the head. Exhale where you need. Extend the arms back out into warrior two. Let's take half moon balance, shifting the weight into the right leg, right fingertips down to a block or to the ground. Back leg floats up, it's okay if it's wobbly. Top arm can extend once you feel pretty secure here. Enjoy the expansiveness of this pose. Top fingertips come down, standing split. Square off those hips, make sure the left hip drops down towards your mat. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, belt, bend both knees, coming into half Lord of the Fish. You're gonna sit down onto the left hip. Spiral around to the right. Sit up nice and tall. Coming back to face your knees. So you might not be facing any particular side of your mat. Let the thighs stack for cow face. Flexing the ankles. If you'd rather pigeon, feel free, but this does get the IT band a little bit more than pigeon. Pigeon is more specific towards the hip. So sitting up nice and tall, taking full cow face. <clears throat> if the right leg is on top, the left arm comes above. Trying to hook the fingers. If your shoulders aren't ready for it, it's okay. Just do what you can. So either staying here and breathing, or if you want more intensity, take an easy forward fold. And I mean easy, not that its execution is easy, meaning that you're not forcing it. You're gently moving into it. And of course, breathe.
One more full inhale. As you exhale, gently release the arms. Give them a moment to relax. If you want to roll the shoulders, if you want to give a little massage, wherever you might need it, go for it. Untangle those legs. Find your way into tabletop, hands and knees, a few cows and cats. Next breath, find your way to down dog. Stay for a breath. Inhale, lift the eyes, step or hop the feet to the top of the mat, lift halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Exhale, hands to the heart. One full breath here with the arms. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Let's do all that on the second side. I hope you remember because I'm not sure that I do. <laughs> Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, hands down, step or flip back to plank. Move through your vinyasa. Find your way to your downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up and back, three-legged dog, and make it a twist. Feel free to roll the ankle, point and flex the foot, whatever you might need on this side. And inhale, bring it to a nice square position. Exhale, thigh of the chest, falling star, rolling onto the inner edge of your, what is that, the right foot, left foot steps in front of the belly button, other arm can reach straight up, so you're in your side plank. If you want more intensity for the side bend, sweep that right arm over your ear, palm down. Gently bring it back, nice square and three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Hands come up to the thigh, exhale, release the shoulders. From here, tuck the back toe, scoot the back knee forward about one little scoot, press through the legs, inhale, come up to crescent pose, exhale, hands come to the heart. Another breath here with just the arms. Nice big inhale, exhale, shift your weight forward, left foot, right thigh comes to the chest. Outwardly rotate, cross the ankle, find your cross legged chair. On your inhale, come back up to vertical. Let that foot open up a little bit more, come into tree pose. Arms can go where you like. From here, gently peel the foot off the inner leg, step it back, warrior two. Staying in your nice static warrior two for about three breaths or so. Oh, nix that, come back to tree pose. How could I forget? Side bend over that tree pose, my bad. I was in that warrior two saying, hey, my sides feel a little bit different. <laughs> Why is that? I was like, I forgot. All right, good, I'm glad, I'm glad we went back to that. Now from tree bows, let's get back to that warrior two. It should feel a little bit nicer now, we've already been here once before, breathing into it. But from here, hands come behind the back, interlace fingers opposite thumb on top. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the heart, exhale, humble warrior variation. Shoulder comes towards the inner thigh, 
Head lowers if it's comfortable for you. Arms float overhead for a nice shoulder stretch. Keep pressing weight into that back foot. Eyes open and breathe. On your inhale, lift the head. Exhale where you need to. Come back up into warrior two. Half moon balance. Ardha Chandrasana. Find that balance on the left leg. Left fingertips come down to a block or the mat. Enjoy the expansion once again. Energize through all limbs, all fingers, all toes. And gently shift into your standing split. Squaring off the hips, letting that right thigh, that right hip bone float downward. And inhale, lift the head. Exhale, bend both knees, come into half lord of the fish. Spiral it around, enjoy the pose. Inhale, come back to neutral spine so that you're facing your knees, sitting up nice and tall. Adjust your legs as you need. Left leg is on top, that means the right arm comes above. Find the connection between the fingertips here, sitting up nice and tall. And either stay upright or gently fold forward. Nice big inhale here. Exhale, gently release the arms. Just let them be for a breath or two. And go ahead and untangle those legs. Tabletop. A few cows and cats. Come back to a nice neutral spine. Let's try crow pose today. I haven't done that in a hot second yet. So downward facing dog, lift the head, walk the feet forward, outwardly rotate so the heels are together. Then lift the heels. You can bend the knees here deeply. Palms flat in line with the shoulders, elbows point back. Head is lifted so you're looking forward. Knees towards the armpits if they rest on the triceps, that's fine. Engage the belly. Start to shift your weight into the hands. If your feet don't lift, it's fine. You have to start somewhere. I like to shift my weight a few times just so that I can get a sense of where my body is before I actually go into the pose. And once I'm there, if it feels good, I lift up one leg squeezing the hamstring and then the next one. And from here, when you're ready, balasana. Settling into those hips, take it a little less active. Let the hips sink down. Don't worry about the arms activating the inner thighs. Just let the thighs hug you around the ribs. Good. From here, gently sit down. Find boat pose for a few breaths. If you'd like to move into the teaser from Pilates, feel free to do so. We'll stay for another three breaths. Right, from here, find your way to plank, vinyasa, or just move into child pose. Staying for a few breaths. One more breath. 
more breath in child's pose. And open the arms up to the width of your mat. Lift your eyes so you're looking forward. We're going to slither onto the belly. So sliding through an Ashtanga Pranam, bring your knees parallel, toes tuck. Chest and chin come to the mat, tail sticking up, elbows nice and tight to the ribs. And inhale, slide it through, come into Sphinx pose. Legs can be at whatever width you need so your lower back is happy. Engage the lower belly, pull it up and in, shoulder blades pull down and back. Nice, open, wide heart center. Eyes can close or you can look at the tip of your nose, whatever you like, wherever your energy is this morning. Go ahead, from here, bend up the right leg, reach the right hand back, get a nice quad stretch here. Once you connect hand and foot, press the right hip down into the mat. Try to keep those shoulders away from your ears. The more length, the better. Gently release, switch to the other side. Good, gently release, laying down into crocodile pose, stacking the hands, forehead onto the hands. Give the low back a little sway from side to side. I'm going to take one locust and then I'm going to move into bow pose, Adhanurasana. If you don't like Adhanurasana or your body doesn't like it because your shoulders or your low back are unhappy, then just take another round of the locust. All right, so here we go. Palms down by the sides of the body. On your inhale, lift it up. Nice long neck. Be careful that you're not shooting the chin forward. We want the back of the neck to be just as open as we can make it. On your exhale, lower down, head to one side, arms and legs relax. All right, moving into bow pose or another round of locust. On your inhale, go ahead and lift up. Gently release, let the arms float out to the sides and under your forehead, find the crocodile pose. Bend the knees, feet float in the air, and the windshield wiper from side to side. Let the legs extend long underneath you. Prop back up into like a sphinxy like pose. I'm going to take the right arm, thread it underneath, lay on your right shoulder, go on to your right side, come into fetal position, knees in towards the chest, try to keep the legs stacked here, and the right arm floats up and over for a spinal twist. So in this case, this targets the chest a little bit more, so if your arm is floating a little bit and you have a pillow or a block or something, feel free to place that underneath your arm so it's not too intense. If you're looking for a more intense sensation, feel free to extend the top leg and connect the hand and foot. If the hand and foot are connected, gently release them. Find your way back onto your right side, fetal position. Extend the legs out. Roll onto your belly. We move to the other side. Left arm threads underneath. Onto your shoulder. Then roll onto your left side. Finding your fetal position. Settling into that first. Then letting the right arm float up and over to the right side. Opening the chest. Try to keep those legs stacked. Options apply on this side. If you want to extend that top leg, go for it. Well, 
one more breath here. So if you're connecting hand and foot, gently release it. Ease your way back into fetal position on your left side. Then roll on to your back. And let's find Shavasana. So legs extend long underneath you. Let them be about the width of your mat apart, arms to your side, comfortable angle, palms up. Let, the eyes, let your eyes close and take rest. This is by far one of the most important parts of the yoga practice. Physically, it allows the nervous system to settle down and to gain all the benefits of the practice. But it also allows you to observe, to breathe, and to be in your stillness, to observe the thoughts coming through, and maybe some of the physical attributes that are happening as you lay, as you lay there. allow yourself to be. Gradually start to deepen your breath. Find energy in the fingers, toes, wrists, ankles, hands, and feet. Let the arms extend up overhead. Legs come together underneath you. Nice long stretch. And hug the knees in towards your chest. Give a gentle rock from side to side. And roll on to your right side into fetal position. Bottom arm comes as a pillow for your head. And gently press yourself up to a seated position. Eyes closed, either hands pressed together at your heart or one on your heart and one on your belly. Take a few moments here to check in. Check in physically, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually. I.e., feel the feels, what's happening right now. Take a few moments here for some gratitude, something that you are thankful for right now. <laughs> Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste.
Okay, so that was a nice surprise to have the dog nose bump me in the middle of that. <laughs> All right, so I hope you feel good after that practice. Uh, I don't know why I can't do a short practice. Like five, 10, 15 minutes is really hard for me. I like to like do it all and it doesn't feel complete to me without. So I see that it's been 30 minutes. This is actually short for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful that I know what my body needs <clears throat> and, uh, and that I actually give the time to do that. So I hope you do the same for yourself. Have a beautiful week. Enjoy your Monday when you get there if you're not there yet. And I will see you on Wednesday. Same time, same place. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.